I think this will work. Okay, so we are out here, not quite in the middle of nowhere. I wanted to try something today with the drone. The Spark has a really sweet, intelligent flight mode. So what I wanna do is use the active track mode and see if I can get it to track me while I ride my motorcycle. We're testing out if I can get a really sweet action tracking drone shot of me riding my motorcycle down this, what is apparently busier road than I once first thought. The reason I am trying to do this with the active track mode and instead of just having maybe like somebody come out here and help film is that by and large, I do most of my videos uh, by myself. One part of that is because a lot of the traveling and stuff that I do is on my own. And two, I kind of actually really like doing everything on my own uh, because, well, part of it I guess you could say is a little bit of control freakishness. I like to just oversee everything and have that complete, you know, total vision. Uh, but I do like the challenge of it. That's one thing that I really enjoy about recording all of my videos on my own. You have to really think differently on how to get these sorts of shots. Without further ado, I am gonna get the drone up in the air, get all that set up, and we're gonna see how well this works. <laughs> hey there, this is VoiceOver Taylor coming at you. For those of you who may have never used intelligent flight modes, before you worry about that, go ahead and just get your drone set up like you normally would for a flight. Turn it on, get it connected, get it calibrated, all that fun stuff to make sure it's not gonna just, you know, fly away while you're uh, trying to fly it. All right, we got the drone up. So now, we're gonna hop on the motorcycle and figure this out. So now that we have the drone up in the air, you're going to look on the left side of your display and there's your takeoff icon, your return to home icon, and there's this controller type icon. You're gonna wanna click on that, which is gonna bring up your different intelligent flight modes. And for different DJI drones, there will be different intelligent flight modes available to you. For the Spark, you're gonna see these particular ones. Since we're using the active track in this video, just go ahead and find the one that says active track. Now it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is take your finger and draw a box around whatever it is you want to track. For me, I made a box around myself, and all you gotta do is push go. The drone might reposition itself a little bit because it only does tracking from behind or in front. So it might move a little bit based off of what it thinks is directly behind or in front of the thing it is tracking. It was tricky being on a motorcycle because I didn't know exactly what to do with the controller. I couldn't really hold it. So I ended up just putting it in between my legs on the gas tank where I could kind of look down and see it periodically. But other than that, this was the result of the first run. We didn't crash. I'm not 100% comfortable with going fast. I didn't want to go too fast and get out of its range. With the way I had the controller sitting, the antenna, the antennae were facing away from the drone, uh, which is not optimal for reception. And this is not necessarily the optimal spot I was looking for, and it does have a curve. I didn't want to go around the corner like this car is doing and have the drone try and cut across 
and hit some of those trees there. I do want to give it one more try. For this one, I want a little different of a shot, so I'm gonna put the drone a little farther out and a little farther up. Maybe try and have it pan forward as I'm going. Hope it goes a little bit better, at least not worse. We just don't want to do worse. The second time around, I changed up a few things. One, I just got the drone a little farther back from me because I wanted to get a wider angle. Two, I tried to ride a little quicker to see if I could get a, a, a faster track. And three, I used the panning ability within the active track mode. One thing to note about the active tracking that I noticed is that it does switch your exposure video controls to auto. You can notice right here, I switch it into the active tracking and I had it on manual settings, but it switched it into the automatic video settings. Now this makes sense overall because the drone is assuming that you are not in control since you're doing the active track and intelligent flight mode. So it just automatically takes control of everything. It is sort of a bummer because you can see it makes the footage vastly different from what I like the footage to be. Overall, it's fine. You can fix that in post pretty easily as long as it's not too drastic, which for this setting, since the lighting wasn't actually changing, I wasn't going from light to shade, it worked out perfectly fine. It would be cool though if there was an override. If you know of some way to override it going to auto settings, it would be great to find that hack, but if not, I will take it as it is. And here is the result of that shot. lessons from today's quick journey. First, I'm going to shed a couple layers. One, the drone in regular mode really cannot keep up too well with a vehicle while in active tracking mode. I got pretty high up into first gear. I could have been in second gear. I should have been in second gear. I was probably going close to 20-ish. It's hard to tell because my motorcycle is old and the speedometer doesn't work. There were two times where my phone screen went black and it said that it had lost a connection with the drone. I don't really suggest that you go try this um, unless you do have you know, a really nice deserted road that you can go without worrying about people around. It worked relatively well with how cautious I was being and all of the circumstances. That ends this installment of me trying things that I probably shouldn't with my drone and with my motorcycle. Um, before, I was having episodes of Taylor trying things on his motorcycle that he should not try. Uh, now it's Taylor trying things on his motorcycle with his drone that he should not try. So if you guys enjoyed this video, um, I am glad if you've learned anything from it. That's really cool too. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, if you do like this, Go ahead and maybe leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I do try and put out, well, 
I'm not gonna have regular videos anymore. There will be at least one or two more videos before I leave for the summer and kind of go off the grid. Um, but thank you for tuning in, sticking with me, going on this little adventure. It's been fun, it's been a beautiful day. I hope you guys have a great week, great weekend. I don't know when I'm gonna have this video out, so if it's on the weekend, if it's on the week, I hope you have a great day, whatever day of the week it is. Thank you guys, I'll see you on the next one.